Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a one product dropshipping store step by step. I'm going to go through the process of getting your domain, getting your product set up on your website, and all the steps you need to go ahead and take to start selling on your Shopify store. So I already went ahead and did the two most important steps to get started to save some time. I created my Shopify store and I went ahead and picked my product. If you guys don't already have a store, you can create one with the link in the description and get that made for only a dollar. And for your product, you guys should take some time or go ahead and watch another video from this channel to go ahead and figure out what product you're going to sell but once you have your product ready you can go ahead and go to your shopify store and we're going to go ahead to the next step and buy a domain so the easiest way to buy a domain is by going through shopify you can go to your settings and then click domains over here and then click buy a new domain so depending on whatever you want to call your store you can go ahead and pick something like magic brush clean and go ahead and see if that's available and see now magic brush clean is available so you kind of want to pick a domain that kind of has something to do with your product as in this i think something catchy and cool would be magic brush clean so that's something that fits my product it's memorizable and it will look pretty clean if you're promoting this on tiktok or facebook and i'm going to go ahead and be able to make a good clean logo for that so if you were actually going to run the store i would go ahead and buy this domain you would be able to purchase it it's 15 dollars a year and that's going to go ahead and automatically link to your store and be ready on your website within a couple hours so once you have your domain it's time to go ahead and pick a theme so we can start actually creating our website so go over to your online store tab and sales channels and let's go ahead and pick a new theme. There's many, many free themes you guys can use so you don't have to spend any extra money and the whole process of creating a store is very easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a theme that's free and choose what I would like to use. So for this store, to make it as simple to use as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this refresh theme because I think it looks really, really good for the product that I'm selling. I'm gonna be able to make a good, clean website using this. So once your theme gets added to your website, you're gonna to have to wait a little bit for it to install and then you're gonna be able to customize it and start adding things. But while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and create a logo. So for a logo, I would go to canva.com. It's the easiest way to go ahead and make a free logo, something you don't have to pay for and you're able to make this in a few minutes. So I'm gonna create a blank logo page and our website is called Magic Brush Clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with just the magic brush because I feel like that's really, really easy. And I'm just going to make a quick heading over here, magic brush, and change the font to something nice and clean. You never want to make this too complicated. You want people to be able to read it, but you also want it to look good. I think something like this could be nice. I'm going to go ahead and pick a color scheme. I think something like black and white could be really, really nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and try out black and pink on this website. I'm going to go ahead and pick a nice light pink like this and you also want to always save your color palette so i'm going to go ahead and screenshot that just so i have it and then add a quick element of a paintbrush cool let's go ahead and just run with this one for now so there we have our logo i usually just go ahead and take a screenshot of it because you want it to be in this small uh, horizontal form you don't want a big box because it's not going to look well on the website and our refresh theme is now ready to be customized so let's go ahead and start running this up you always want to edit in the mobile form because if you're planning to run this on TikTok or Facebook, you're mainly going to have mobile viewers for especially a product like this. So you always want to go ahead to the top right here and edit in the mobile form because that's what's most important. And then you'll see at the end of this um, store building session, I'm going to go to desktop and touch some things up for the desktop view just in case we do have our 10% desktop viewers to make sure that looks pretty good as well. So for our mobile view, I'm going to go ahead and change this logo up here on our header, our logo that we just created. Cool, so the logo looks good there. Now we can go ahead and change our color palette so that will fit and it won't be a big black of white. So we have colors. There we go. Now our colors up here look good and I'm gonna go ahead and change all of the color scheme to go ahead and match the pink that we just used. Save that color. And now all of our accent colors on this theme, by default, I'm going to change to the pink. So we have a matching theme to our logo. And this part is very important as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one 
white with black text for the announcement bar. And now for this store, I'm probably not gonna add anything up here in the browser latest products since it is only gonna be a one product store. I don't think that's necessary, but I'm gonna clean up how it shows the product down here. So I do not use a featured collection and I instead I'm gonna add a featured product. Select the product I just added, my electric dish cleaning brush. And as you guys can see, there's a big block in the image here. It doesn't match. So I'm gonna change the background colors to just white so it all blends in perfectly. And then another thing that I advise you guys do is clean up a lot of this bulk. So I'm going to clean where it shows the store name. I'm gonna clean where it shows these share icons and view full details. I'm probably gonna go ahead and add a bundle on this instead so people can get a better deal if they buy multiple because it is a little bit of a markup and some people aren't gonna wanna buy one. But the thing about this product is it is a good gift product and something that people are gonna wanna give to family, friends, relatives. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this quantity, or quantity picker here and download an app in the app store. I will show you guys called Catching Bundles. This is my favorite app to go ahead and pick a bundle in your store. I really recommend you guys check it out and give it a try, but it just helps you get a better conversion rate and a better order value because people are gonna be uh, incentivized to buy multiple. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that right now. And you get a 14 day free trial. So if your CTA or your order value doesn't go up, you're going to be able to just cut this off within the 14 days and not have any consequences. So I'm going to go ahead and name this bundle one, keep this the same. We can change our layout and look on here because it looks kind of bulky, but this is kind of the idea that you're going to get. Um, I'm going to do a specific selected product, our electric cleaning brush. And now we're going to go ahead and change a little bit how this looks. I'm not the biggest fan. So I'm gonna make it a little round, give it a little playful look, and our border color, of course. So my cost to actually ship out this product is about a little over $15 shipped. So I'm doing about a 3X markup on a single, but that gives me a lot of profit margin to give people a good deal if they buy multiple. So I'm not really considering getting way extra profit on selling multiple, but I'm just instead working on growing my average order value. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm gonna do that here. For our single, I'm gonna leave it the same, the 45.99, and I'm not gonna select this by default. For a number two, I am going to do a specific price. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 74.99 for a duo. So they're gonna be saving about $15 here instead of paying 91. So they're already getting a really good deal here. And I'm gonna go ahead and say you save. 15 and I'm gonna make this the most popular and I'm also gonna make the duo selected by default so as soon as they go to the product page and start to add something to your cart it's automatically gonna select the duo so they're incentivized to buy two and they manually have to go and select to buy one so it's already everything's adding up to make them want to buy multiple so I'm gonna go ahead and change the badge background here because I don't like the red I'm just gonna make that the same color as everything else and now it looks pretty. And for a trio, so I'm gonna make the trio here $91. And basically now they're getting three of them for the same price that it would be two if they weren't using a bundle pack. So I'm selling them for 45 a piece. So the two of them combined would be $91, but now they're able to get three for $91. So they're basically getting an entire unit for free. It's kind of like a buy two, get one free deal. That's good. And we are done here. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this to our store and show you guys how it's gonna look. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate the app within this bundle. And now as you guys can see, we have our bundle integrated directly into the website. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and remove our price block here. I'm gonna remove a few things just to clean it up. And then we are gonna add our own description in a little bit. So you don't need that. I don't want a share block and I don't want anything below here because we're gonna add our own stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the next few steps here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this title just to show you what I would do if we're making our uh, website here with the magic brush clean. So we don't need a description and I'm gonna do 
you want to copy a trademark. Right there. And then we are going to install our review app. My personal favorite is Luke's because it's just very, very um, integratable and it's seamless. The easiest review app to go ahead and install and link to your product. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and set this up and make your website look a lot more professional with only one app. So once again, you guys get a good week trial here and then it's only $10 a month. So if you're not able to get any profit on your store within a week, you can go ahead and cancel this if you're not able to afford it. But once again, I really, really recommend this $10 a month because you're gonna be able to make a lot more money off of this $10 because reviews are a lot more important for scaling and your um, conversion rate than you might think. So then after you guys install Luke's, go ahead back to your theme that you're currently customizing go to this apps little section and install luke's on here so it's active and you can use it for your reviews and then i'll show you guys how to go ahead and do a quick import open up the app again and let's go ahead and generate our reviews import reviews take this little thing and drag it up to your bookmarks bar it's up there now and now we can go ahead to aliexpress Back to your product ours here has 1300 reviews it's a perfect candidate go ahead and just tap this review little thing and select your product that you want it to import to and i'm only going to fetch reviews with photos because it's a lot easier and a lot more pretty on the website and i do four stars and up so we don't get a bunch of bad reviews so boom these are all going to be very very nice us english reviews um brush that was broken don't import that one. Just import all the reviews that look good and you think will look good on your website. Obviously, you don't want people shaming your product on your website. You can keep some real ones in where people might have some real complaints, but you still want it to be an overall good review. So when people are looking at this for uh, validation on your product, you want them to have um, a good feeling purchasing it. So now we can go ahead back to our reviews here. No, I prefer this be a blog. There we go, and I'm gonna drag this above the title up here. So now we see our reviews, our title, and then a color picker, and then your bundles. So I'm gonna edit this review thing here in a second so it looks cleaner, but first I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get the reviews under this. So now under the next section in apps, I'm gonna add a product reviews widget. There we go. So now you can scroll down and people are able to view all of your reviews. But now we're going to clean them up a little bit and make them prettier for the website. Let's go to settings, general appearance, our star. We can keep that the same. Let's go ahead and keep that same color that we just used. There we go. Nice. And now we're able to go back to our online store here. And now our review widget is all the same color as everything else on the website and all looks a lot more put together just with this small little detail. Now, as you guys can see, everything on the website looks clean. I wanna show you guys the next step here because you don't want it just going straight from your product purchase page to reviews. You wanna have a couple more things to where they're scrolling down to sell them further on the product because most people when they're shopping they're not just going to look at a couple pictures i only have three pictures on here and then straight to purchase so i know they already saw the ad on your call to action from wherever you're selling it but that's not going to be enough to usually sell people on that product so i'm going to show you guys a little secret that i do on all my stores is you're going to search up electric dish scrubber gif and find some gifts of people using your product that's going to help you sell it so like this right here look Perfect, because it's showing a very, very good use case. And this is something that's not high quality enough to use within your creatives, but it's very, very good for your website because it's gonna help you sell a lot of products. Let's go ahead and import that to our store. I'm gonna go ahead and add a section, a text or an image with text. Drag this up above the reviews. And now for our image, go ahead and add that GIF in. Cool. We can go ahead and make that smaller. Nice. Overlap that. 
Now for our image of text, I'm going to make a heading say clean with ease and then just write something that's gonna sell people further on your product. Cool, so I went ahead and just said clean with ease, and then in my description here I said the magic brush cleans any surface and grime in seconds without using harsh chemicals or damaging your dish. Clean your dishes with confidence using the magic brush. So it's just gonna be a gift to show people what it does, how it works, and further sell them on here so as they're scrolling down, now they're gonna see a GIF, and then some clean, nice reviews. So it's very, very simple. A website for a product like this isn't the most complicated thing ever. As you guys can see, I went ahead and created a very, very clean professional website here in about 25 minutes. So it's not too hard. If you guys just follow along with this video and create something similar, you're gonna be able to definitely get sales. Obviously this isn't gonna be a billion dollar website, but I'm very, very confident with how it is right now. And I think if I were to go ahead and run ads and creatives on this website, I would be able to get sales. And I think if you guys create something like this for a product you wanna sell, this is a very, very good way to test because nobody needs to go ahead and spend two, three, four days of constant work on a uh, Fortune 500 brand website to go in and test products because I don't even know if this is going to be a winning product. It's something that I personally want to sell and it's something that I think could do well, but you need to be able to crank out fast and easy websites to test your products. Because if you want to be successful with drop shipping, you need to be able to go in and test two, three products a week. And if you're spending so many hours on your websites, it's going to be very, very mentally straining to go in and test all of these products. So the best way to do this is to be able to crank out websites with a quick template like this and be able to make multiple within a week. Because if this doesn't work, I can have no regrets scrapping it and creating another one in only about 20, 30 minutes. So I hope this video helped you guys create a quick one product dropshipping store if you have any questions and you need help further go ahead and leave a comment below check out all the links in the descriptions and head back to this channel for help tips and tutorials on how to become a better dropshipper hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one